Hello, I am a socially inept scientist. Therefore, I would not like to public speak. So instead of the classic PowerPoint and speech, I have decided instead to record myself previously so I can be your virtual tour guide throughout the bulk of my presentation. Ah, you may mistake this state-of-the-art camouflage and protective housing for your common trash can. Of course, the teleporter is inside the housing. Of course, the teleporter will not be shown in this video because of patents pending, and we all remember the old particle de-shifter debacle. Ugh, poor old Gru. So despicable. But there will be a live demonstration to the board following this video. But of course, back to the story. Back to the story. Test number 50. This is of kind of where TP. it all started to go wrong. 311 dash 972. Um, for this test, I have adjusted the angle of approach. I am still wearing my same personal protective gear as last time. I have adjusted the angle of approach and amended things slightly. Let's see what happens. All right. I am entering the device now. And we will begin the test. So, members of the board of directors for Iguant, this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. So you know what? Roll the tape. Ow! No! I have not invented a teleportation device. No, no, no. I had inadvertently invented a time machine with which someone or something is carried, conveyed, or transported through time and space. The problem was that it had sent me back in time two complete days and, luckily, kept me in relative relation to the Earth's core, meaning I had maintained my geographical location. I had no idea that I had traveled in time. Notice the time stamps. Are a resounding failure. The only thing it changed was a lot more painful. Um, with that, I am going home because I hurt. So, bye. I was stupid. I forgot to stop recording. So we continued recording for the next eight hours until the old me, the one in this time dimension, came back and stops the recording. Just, just watch. Oh my gosh. I left that recording all night. That's like 15 hours of footage I'm gonna have to go through. The time oh, I clocked boy. out on Monday the 18th of June was 5.08 p.m. originally. The time I, Time Traveler Blake, clocked out on Monday the 18th of June was 11.51 p.m. Then I, not Time Traveler Blake, clocked back in at 8.04 a.m. on Tuesday the 19th of June where I began work on prototype TP311-972. I felt the same way. I, I assume, of course, that you were delighted. But see, this poses a slight problem for me. How was I to not get stuck in this perpetual cycle of going back in time? So some of you may be confused. What does he mean by this perpetual cycle? Well, some French scientists in 1785 discovered that mass can neither be created nor destroyed, which is great, except I'm bringing my mass back in time, thus creating mass in that universe, which means I only have about 20 minutes before I fade from existence. Think back to the future style, but not nearly as painful as Marty made it seem. So apparently this is my fifth time here in the past because um, of these markings right here. These don't disappear. So apparently I have been back here at least five times. Also, according to this journal I found here, I apparently get very hungry and very emotional when I come here because, quote, the disappearance have the main side effect of, and I quote, 
I am so very hungry. So hungry, I wish I were full of tacos instead of emotion. I continue. I'm not even sure that made sense, but I can feel it's time to go. I Unquote. noticed that I was starting to go back in time, and I started to leave notes for what I thought was going to be my past I self. I have decided that the only way to not perpetually be in this trance of constantly being thrown back here is to fix the teleporter from being a time machine to a teleporter. Actually gonna try and fix it this time. So, essentially, this allotted me about five minutes, give or take, of usable working time. So just think, I must have gone back thousands of times. I lost count. There was no way to keep track, but I must have gone back thousands of times just trying to fix TP311-972. It must have been months, but, but eventually it worked. Ladies and gentlemen of the board of directors of the Evil Geniuses United Against Non-Teleportation Transportation, I present to you the Molecular Relocator. I must now hand it over to myself on stage with the device. <laughs>